welcome, sir. Your name, sir? Uh, my name is Arab Crossbanks. Arab. I don't get, sir. My name is Raf Tresvant. Okay, Mr. Raf, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Uh, yes, sir. Our first question is yesterday, David Beckham insisted that Lionel Messi is the GOAT of football, that that is better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, let me tell you, uh, let me say the truth. You know, I have to distinguish the two. See, let me tell you. Lionel Messi. Is not a, is it not? I will not tag him a goat of the football. I will I tag that guy powerhouse, powerhouse of football. That guy is somebody that will hold on to ball. You will be surprised that you will never bring him down. You will be surprised that this guy you will ask yourself, is he using fuel in his system to empower his blood, to empower his brain, everything. Lionel Richard is unstoppable. Uh, Messi is unstoppable. Whenever he holds ball, even in the outside 18, even within 18, box, penalty box, that guy is wonderful. That guy is something else. But you know what? He doesn't want to see what we call, uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, you commit, you commit it outside the 18, not within the 18. You, and eh? uh, yes, you commit him outside no, foul, the 18. foul outside the 18. That that shoot out something yes. kick. What's the name? And penalty kick. No, not penalty. Is that penalty is within the 18 box? Yes, now. that's outside free kick. Free kick. Thank you. He begs. He begs and answer and tell God, please let this and my opponents not commit anything free kick foul infringement against, against along mercy. against mercy. Or guy is going low. This guy is something else. He's a man that we know that has never. See, he scored against free kick against Nigeria in 2010. Yes, that guy is something else. Mena Messi, don't try him with free kick. He's going to decimate your side, your team. That guy is zombie. That guy is, you can never bring him down. His leg is magnetic to the ball. He can dodge anybody, he can dribble anybody very fast enough to have liking him, to like him to be Pele. I bet the uh, Pele of Brazil, Edison Arantes Donesmento of Brazil, late, blessed memory. Messi is too good. But let me tell you, to compare him to Ronaldo, let me tell you, Ronaldo is somebody we know that doesn't, you know, uh, exhibit the uh, uh, disparity, you know, the glamour or prowess of football, you know, with you know, Neto, he has, he has also achieved everything in football. Yes, I Ronaldo, outside the work. Yes, uh, uh, Ronaldo, Abi, yeah. I know, I know. See, no, but I'm, I'm trying to say something good about him. See, Ronald, Ronaldo trains more than Lionel Me Re Messi. Lionel Messi comes, his own talent comes with nature. God created Lionel Messi like that. Ronaldo is somebody that practices and uh, you know that practice makes perfect see let me tell you no matter how you turn it ronaldinho cristiano ronaldinho is perfect i neither hate the other nor love the other two of them if you ask me i will tell you that david beckham should close his mouth i hope that statement is accredited to david beckham of england or dennis beckham you know say so you have two david beckhams the other day this is Holland. He's the yeah. Beckham of England. Okay, David Beckham should close his mouth to have making that statement that uh, Messi is the goat of football. See, let me tell you, Ronaldo is human machine. Ronaldo is something else. That guy dazzles within UEFA, outside UEFA, World Cup. Ronaldo is a machine. The machine that has, you know, Make everybody to like that round object game or you call it sport. Ronaldo is a machine. Nobody has ever, ever dribbled like Ronaldo unless his namesake, Ronaldinho, the one that has chalked the world, the way he plays penalty, the way he dazzles within the 18 box. Penalty box. See, Cristiano Ronaldo is something else. This is a guy that doesn't even drink, he depends on fruit. There's no how you can compare yeah, Ronaldo and Messi. He doesn't even have any tattoos. He doesn't have tattoos on his body. Let me tell you, Messi is short as height, as tall as football, the round object, 
That's why Messi is gone to the round object. He can dazzle anybody. He can display anywhere. And you can never stop him or bring him down. Messi is unstoppable while dribbling. dribbling. While Ronaldo is a machine. While on the run. While on the run. Inside a team bus. Even about to kick. Free kick. Fia Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is gifted from God. And Messi is not left out. So what you are telling us is that none is better than each other. There they are, are just two good two of them. I appreciate Lionel Messi. I appreciate Ronaldo, Ronaldo Cristiano. That guy is untouchable. He is a human destruction machine on the game of football. All right, thank you, sir, for that. Yes, the Imba FC Imba FC coaching job. The Abia State, the Abia State government rule out reapplying Kano and um, Fini the judge for the coaching job. What do you have to say to this, sir? Uh, that is eternal politics and you know, our football league is nothing because it has been uh, you know um, overrun by politics, politicians. See, if you know the owner of Enyimba, you will find out that that club is gone. The management of Enyimba is under the control of the greatest politician in Igbo land. One of the most doggy, doggiest politician in Nigeria. I'm talking about the person of Oju Zokalo. Enyiba was well properly managed in tw early 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, until that was when they carried Africa Championship in Egypt. And they repeated the same feat. Oju Zokalo was a man, a good man then. That was what was where he was busy. What siphoning the money, public fund that belonged to Abia State. Instead of doing work in that state, he keep on channeling the money into his private post. But coming to sports, he became a pillar of sports in 2003-04 when he managed any bar football club of any adversity to what? To carry Africa Championship. CAF! I listen to me. CFF! Confederation of Confederation of African what championship Confederation of African Football Champion League was lifted by Enyimba two times, well managed by this doggiest politician I have ever seen in Igbo land, Ojo Zakalo, Ajo Mado Bakutalo Munyazu, Ojo Zakalo, a bad politician that plays politics with lies in Igbo land. He doesn't care because he's an ostracized, exiled fellow. Who can never hold his head up in the garden of his clans, kinsmen? So let me tell you, what is going on now in Enyimba is that Oju Zokano has started a game. There's nothing he could handle well in Igbo land in the past for the past ten years now, because he want to favor his Hausa masters. Look at what he's doing now in Enyimba city. See, let me tell you, Kano should turn his back. At that club, to be innocent, a papillo, a bit papillo should leave out Joseph Kalo. Joseph Kalo has been politics has spent his life, he can never do anything right. He thinks that he can play Igbo, uh, God over Igbos and get caught free. We don't have human beings as God, we want God who lives in heaven. Joseph Kalo should back out from that place. And I, 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 I should advise, I should have advised Finney the judge to back out too. Finney the judge has no business to be there. Ojo Zokano can never do something right in his life. Now he's trying to scatter. No, he has already scattered the Yimba. Yimba Football Club. Yimba Football Club for what? Where he could not use his money to develop Aba. Aba has no role today. In fact, when they are going to play in any part of the South South, is the car, the bus, the buses they use. Eh? Are they, are they, where, where do they try? On no sense does being reading road, pothole reading, Abba roads. See, let me tell you, Ojo Zokalu is wrong. He's the one that is wrong. Ojo Zokalu to hand over Nimba to another, what? Management, somebody to manage. Another CEO, another chairman, another elite in Igbo land to spend his money and buy Nimba and manage Nimba well. So that Nimba will recover his past glory of how many years now? 20 years. Yes. They made it calf in Nigeria. They are the one that hold it. Yeah. The only yes. club in Nigeria. Yes. Okay, sir. The Nigeria League. 
we want um, the government to to at least give the private entity a hand in the league, like selling off the club since they can they can't sponsor, finance it they well, can't they can't sponsor it well. Yes, that, so that's we, that's they should give the private entity so that our whole league too can improve, can pick up. just like the north the northern side of Africa yes. and the South Africa league. So we have a um, rare monster owned by Bet Ninja and um, Sporting Lagos owned that's by Paystack. That's, that's the two clubs that's doing that's doing well that's currently that's because they are seeing money to finance the club. Yes. So what advice do you have for the NFL, for the N N NPFL officials to maybe to just divert? Let this? me tell you, Nigerian Football Federation (NPFF). Let me tell you. Nigerian Premier League or whatever they Nigeria call themselves, professional, professional football, football league. league. Let me tell you, there's no professionalism there. They don't handle that platform well because Nigerian politicians have virtually hijacked every entity, agencies outside government and within a government in Nigeria. See, since early 2000, Joseph Kalo has done his best by bringing Heimba to that glory that is well known in African continent today or in Nigeria. What has federal government done about it? They should have followed the full step of Ojo Zokal. Ojo Zokal brought out money and he funded the Imba. Single-handedly funded the Imba into glory. Federal government is bent on eating money, being very jealous of even private entity. They don't want to give the license to manage all those local clubs. Because what is good can never be good for those politicians. No politician can never see it as, you know, a wake-up call for our leagues to go high up to what western standard just look at northern africa the league there eh? club african ali ali experience you see those clubs they are doing well do you know that they are equal the classes of the like of uh, all these european clubs yes. saint germain arsenal those North, North, North African League clubs, they are doing well. Better than Everton. Everton. The sister can never compare, you know, contend with Ali Ali. At all. At all. Ali Ali will beat the sister 20 0. It's because the government of Tunisia, the government of Egypt, they are funding their local leagues and they hand it over to private entities, private, entities, private agencies, private management. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? Elite, Ali Ali is the name of somebody. Experience, someone is. Club African, somebody is managing it. And these are Arab millionaires, billionaires in Northern Africa. The Nigerian government must put eyes there. If you manage any by well, they will tax you. You will pay 9 million, 900 million. So that the club will go down. Nigerian government is anti-progressive. They are enemy of progress. Those politicians, they want everything to be benefited by their families. They don't want good things for Nigeria. Nigerian government is bent on collecting tax, left and right, front and back. All the companies in Nigeria will be paying tax. The factory workers who are Nigerians are being treated like slaves. They don't care. Thief, federal thief government of Nigeria. That's why our local clubs cannot do anything. Our local clubs, if you wake up now, someone like Adenuga, a billionaire, to manage a uh, sectionary store. Federal government will put 9 billion tax every year so that Adenuga will not go far. That's how they are it taking is, the investment abroad. Abroad. It is interwoven. It's not a question of people, your body's time. Oh. I'm not an ethnic by God. I'm saying as it is for our land, that's what it is in Ibo land. Federal government will put eyes on management of rangers. When rangers is doing well, federal government will say, Oga, manager. Your tax every every year is 140 million. This is a private entity that is trying to wake up. This is a platform under which we are trying to bring up the standard of our local league to meet up with Western leagues. For the moment, they are anti-progressive idiots. That's why we can never see Nigerians move forward because they are too jealous. They are too greedy. They are what all ethnic by gods. Political by gods, religious by gods, anti progressive demons, all of them. Are you listening to me? So let me tell you, our local league, 
is nothing to write home because we're under a system that doesn't want the indigents, the locals, the nationals, the nationalities to be what? Develop mentally, physically, and otherwise. Look at the system of education in Nigeria, sports apart. Education is very, very expensive in Nigeria, most expensive in Nigeria. You don't go to university with, with the kind of money you will spend in America. Just high school, university, high school over there. Nigeria, you will pay from your teeth before you can go to university. This is a country that wants to go forward. In Nigeria today, you can't afford to buy fencing again. That is the worst thing can, that could ever happen to a country. Is when the medication over there is expensive. To treat yourself of headache, you lack money. Yeah, it can't be possible for us. God will give us strong health in Jesus' name. If you fall sick in Nigeria, ah, my God. And Nigerians are what? Redundant, docile, complacent, satisfied. Nobody's talking. Let me tell you, these government officials, these useless political elites and idiots that, that are playing God over us, they are going to die our death. I think I should pause here. Till tomorrow, we'll continue again. Thank you, sir. So that's all we have for you today. Thank you, Mr. Ra, for that. So that's all for today.